Hello everyone, my name is Nathan, and my name is... Welcome to hell. My name is Nathan. Okay, cool, I thought you were going to say that. Welcome oh. to hell! <laughs> it's been so long since... It's been so long, yeah. it's been a year since we've done this together. This is Welcome to Hail, my name is Nathan, and we are going Criterion shopping. Funny story, before we go into the store, we had both done an online order to pick up Citizen Kane in the store, and about an hour or two after, they contact me, and they're like, Hey, so because of the Criterion defect, uh, we're gonna have to cancel your order. And I was like, no, I wanna keep, I, I wanna still get my coffee because then I can get the $10 Criterion gift card if I send in my defected disc. And they're like, no, we can't do that. So we waited till this point of the month for the Citizen Kane release, and it didn't even matter in the end because we can't even get it. But we both got our orders on Amazon, so it worked out. 24 hours. 24 hours, they'll be here tomorrow. Anyways, we're going in, gonna get some Criterions, but as always, we're gonna share our definites, or are we? We're not, let's not do it. No. Let's just, our definites are Citizen, Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. Yeah. Citizen Kane. So, you guys are gonna be surprised. Do I need to remind you why we're here? <laughs> yeah, David Bowie. Hmm. Actually, I'd rather read one more. <laughs> Hey, wait a second. That's not supposed to be here. Haven't you seen this one? I have no idea who this is. No, but I think it's a hilarious title. This He's talking like, about the dude, this Merrily seems We like Go something to Hell. that you would have watched. Oh, it totally does. Plus, 1932, right up my alley. Hot. Uh, <laughs> to anyone who has seen this, what are your thoughts? Because I'm intrigued by it because I'm trying to get more into Westerns, and also it's a 1957 release, and we love 1957. So, give me your thoughts. Let's get a little bit more in depth here. Feet to the Christmas music. I love this Christmas music so much. I'm always intrigued to watch this. Obviously the Blu-ray, not the DVD, just because a documentary on Ingrid Bergman sounds very fascinating. Mm. <laughs> and then there's Nick, who's always commenting on how much he loves her. I love you, Ingrid Bergman. She can't hear you, man. I hate to break it to you. I do want to pick up a noir movie today to finish out noir November, 1955. I don't know. Movie's kind of crazy. Maybe I like crazy. Ooh, dual edition. Jackson said that the ending to this one is really good, and that cover has always intrigued me. It gives me Black Klansman vibes. Hardcore yes, Black Klansman vibes. Yes, it really does. It's just like something so dark and also something so innocent with the ice cream cone. Carson, if you're watching this, I wanted to get El Surpaso, but they don't have it. I'm in a bit of a funny predicament. So what I like to do some Christmases is I will send my wish list to a family member and I'll say, just give me two criterions off this list. Surprise me, I don't wanna know any of them because I want it to be a surprise when I open it on Christmas morning. So I share that entire Christmas wish list or criterion wish list with my mom and she bought the two criterions, but I have no idea what she got me. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna pick up like the two movies that are on that wish list. So I'm trying to get movies that I don't think she would have gotten me, and at the same time, movies that aren't even on that wish list. So I'm trying to like think outside the box. It's very entertaining and kind of nerve-wracking too. I'm just gonna be boring and start in alphabetical order and go down the line because I wanna see, I wanna discover something I've never heard of, kind of like that Jude X movie I was just looking at, and also maybe remind myself of something that I want. Oh, nice. I did this what last time. <laughs> oh, when did you guys get here? <laughs> this is a Cindy Lumet movie. The guy who did 12 Angry Men. Mm -hmm. so, so guys, do you guys do you guys like uh, hopscotch more or are you more of a basketball person? Let, me, let, me, let us know in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see me ball out. Don't subscribe for that no, reason. No, You'll no, never get it on the channel. That really stupid. <laughs> Not your best moment. By the way, they have a Chaplin movie down there. Monsieur Bruno. Yeah. That cover looks so good to it's me. It's a great cover. But want to know an even better cover? Let's see if they have it. Cause it's, oh, it's right here. Limelight. I love that this cover. That is a really good cover. Yeah. I really like James Stewart a lot. But I think Cary Grant, dude, to me, he's like, he's when suave. I watch him, he's suave. Yeah. Like, there's something about him where I'm like, that's a gentleman. See, to me, yeah. To me, Cary Grant is the perfect James Bond type of person. Wasn't James Bond inspired by him or am I thinking am I, think I wrong? You might be right. I yeah, think you I want to say right. I could be totally wrong on that. But anyways, he's a very suave gentleman exactly like you said, but James Stewart's kind of like the everyday man that people want to be like. So they both have their their perks. I also just I love James Stewart's voice and his complexion. Oh. Like his his uh oh, you want you want the moon? His, I'll, I'll lasso the moon for you. Greatest greatest criterion ever, am I right? Someone actually bought the Blu-ray. 
I guarantee someone that actually <laughs> oh, bought God. the Blu-ray. They're probably like, what's this Criterion thing? Oh, Jellyfish Eye sounds pretty cool. And it's only $15 for the Blu-ray. Whoa, I don't even have to pay 20 Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> that person's watching the video. <laughs> Dislike. Oh, I bought it. This is a good movie, dude. Phoenix? Yeah. What happens is she's taken away to a concentration camp and she returns, she's wounded so bad that they have to do an operation on her face where she mm. doesn't look the same. And she comes back to her husband to be like, hey, I'm alive, but her husband doesn't recognize her. And the husband thinks that she's dead. And the story goes along from there. It's a cool plot, but it's kind of a slow burner, but it's really good. Or if I do this, I could look like Thor, you know, just, yeah, that would look good. <laughs> There's gonna be that quick shot of me just staring at the camera. <laughs> Sorry. Nick is in the horror section looking for a book, but while he's gone, I wanted to say that I'm planning on getting this because I've wanted it forever and I'm finally going to read it someday. And then I'm just updating my journal, getting a new one. Oh, hey, hello. So it's dark outside, and so we're going to film our haul in here, the store. This has never been done in the history of YouTube. I'm taking it easy this sale because uh, Christmas is right around the corner and, you know, got to get gifts for the fam. I'm only going to pick up two movies today. I also have the Citizen Kane one coming tomorrow from Amazon, so I'll show you that when I get it. We're going spine order, of course. We've got spine number 95, All That Heaven Allows. This is one that I've seen several times at the collection, but I've never watched it. In fact, I've never even seen the Douglas Sirk movie. There's a scene in this movie, I've seen a clip, and it takes place at Christmas time, and I feel like that'll just be a good watch for this time of the year, so I wanna check that out, excited about that. I own Magnificent Obsession, but I still haven't seen it. And then the next one is Mildred Pierce, spine number 860. It came as a recommendation from you guys, and it's a good noir movie to watch to close out the month of no November, noir Vember. It also won Joan Crawford, her Oscar for Best Actress, and that cover is amazing. All right, Nicholas, what are you getting? Find 226, Oni Mama. Oh, sorry, uh, Oni Baba. This is the, uh, <laughs> He purposely did that. <laughs> what? I was like, he purposely did that. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like um, a really cool movie, and uh, it looks really creepy. It's got a very haunting mask. Yeah, it does. Um, and uh, I have to get a horror movie, of course. Of course. Uh, so yeah, and I also like the fact that the C is kind of camouflaged on the cover. Oh yeah, really I was cool. like, what C? Obviously that C. Yeah. So there's that, and then next one I'm getting is High Sierra. I love Humphrey Bogart. New release, love it. Um, new release. It's one that's been on my radar, and uh, yeah, to me, for some reason, I look at this cover and it gives me uh, North by Northwest vibes for some reason, okay, which okay. I'm actually excited for because I, I love North by Northwest. So looking forward Pretty to this. Um, Humphrey Bo Bogart is stunning. And uh, yeah. Just one word, one way to describe him. I'm also getting Citizen Kane. Yeah, and, what uh, he said. That's kind of it. Yeah. That's pretty much it, to quote the channel, pretty much it. But that's going to do it. So hope you guys have a great day. Stay tuned for future videos. Happy Thanksgiving, too. Thanksgiving. Happy Boxing Day, Canada. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs>